Hi, I'm Julie McCarty with the USAID Bureau for Food Security. I'm Bill Collis, working on the Kisan Project, which is being uh, is USAID's main Feed the Future initiative here in Nepal, and I'm from Winrock International. And we've been very fortunate to come out here today on a field trip and learn a little bit more about Kisan. So why don't you just tell us uh, how far along you are, give us a, a basic snapshot. Kisan is, is, is just getting started. We're in our first year and we're, we're just about to come to the end of our first year and we're in 10 districts at the moment and we are expanding to 20 districts as we speak today. Uh, we are working with four crops, uh, maize, rice, lentils, and as you can see here, high value vegetables. And so right here we've got cucumbers, correct? Yes, that's correct, guys. We have a group of uh, 28 ladies, uh, or I should say 15 ladies, and the rest of them are men, uh, raising cucumbers communally here. I was wondering if you could comment a bit on the, the K in Kisan, the knowledge portion. Is there a knowledge management component? How are you uh, facilitating knowledge sharing among the farmers? We, Kisan works in cooperation with our partners from the IPMIL and CISA, the, the Serial System Initiative for South Asia, and CIMIT. And we work together. They are our source of tech. They and the government of Nepal, uh, Department of Agriculture and National Agriculture Research Centers are the sources of our technology. Kisan is not a technology development program. We're uh, an implementation program. We take other people's information and spread it to our farmer communities here. And bring it to scale. And bring it to scale. A very hot, uh, hot word in the Bureau for Food Security right Indeed. now. Scaling. Indeed. <laughs> in this case, in the case here, this this is a high income vegetables we're looking at here. Uh, cucumbers are one of the more expensive vegetables, particularly in the early season. The plastic that you're seeing here allows us to start two months before open field production is done. And these farmers are able to take advantage of higher payments for the vegetables they're getting, or much higher in the early season. They're getting 70 to 50 rupees a kilo, and three weeks from now they're going to be getting uh, 20 to 15 rupees a kilo. So extra money for everybody here. So if anyone in D.C. wants to learn more about what you're doing here, where should they go? I suggest they go to the Winrock webpage uh, at uh, www.winrock.org or, or look at the USAID website on, in here in Nepal. The USAID Nepal website will have information on this.